Well, one of the things that businesses really need to do is embrace the digitized, globalized world that we now live in. And one of those challenges is going to be the better exploitation of technology. And the key to getting better exploitation of technology is skills. And if you have the right skills and you invest in the right skills, both businesses and government, then we'll have the opportunity to find new areas of growth. I don't think it's quite as difficult time for business as, as sort of the PR would have you believe. I think it's a tough time for consumer-based businesses, for B2B businesses, people with worldwide ambitions, people that support companies with worldwide ambitions. Not very difficult at all. Our industrial-based companies are spending a lot of money. Uh, our growth in Germany has been stellar. In the UK, it's been similar in industrial-based companies. So it is about companies in the UK that have an export focus. If you look at aerospace engines, if you look at aeroplanes, people can't make aeroplanes fast enough. So there are plenty of growth market opportunities. It just happens to be that the UK, I guess investment banking community is a little challenge right now, which is holding back things a little more than one would like. But I think it's a case of spreading your wings and finding different growth opportunities because there's plenty out there. I'm sure every businessman has got their own pet their own pet want. My pet want is to re-establish or to continue to support the city as the best financial centre in the world. Yeah, we've got to learn the, you know, the lessons from the financial crisis and the, there are a lot of lessons to learn, but that doesn't mean to say we innately haven't got the best financial services centre in the world and that alone can generate a lot of national income and a lot of prosperity and yes to a, to a new paradigm. So, so my ask of the government is to sort of lay off the criticism of 2007-8, which we've all accepted, and lay on to the fact that in 2015 we can restore ourselves as the preeminent financial centre in the world. But of course we need the government to deliver on the policies that they are actively working on but have not yet delivered, and particularly the EMR. Well, I think with the EMR, I mean, it's a situation where it's a very complex piece of policy and legislation that we need to put through. And clearly, we've got a lot of different power generating fuels, technologies. Uh, we're going to have a diverse power generation portfolio. And so it's, it, it's a difficult piece of work. All we can do is just urge that the government get on with this as a highest priority. Because we, as a, one of many companies, are ready to invest more in the UK and of course if we're investing in infrastructure in the UK then we are creating jobs and Alstom as a company is ready to create new jobs.